All right, today we have this 55 inch TCL TV. This is a 55 S451, that is model number. And let's just go over the problem real fast. I'm actually gonna just plug in, you can see the white light here. I'm actually gonna hit the power and turn it on. And as you can see, we have a backlight, but no video problem. All right, there's absolutely nothing on the screen. I can hit any button on the remote control and nothing is gonna come up. You can hear the volume. And of course you will have sound if it's on the right input, but you will still have absolutely nothing on the screen. Just a blank backlit screen with no video. And I can turn it off. See, the screen is completely black. Turn it back on. So the screen is lit and there's no video. move the middle part off um, simple as that screws here 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 and all around there um, looks like I'm zooming on the model number as you can see TCL under the TCL model 55 s 451 so it's kind of like a newer uh, one of the newer 55 inches now usually when you have a backlight with no video problem it's gonna be a T-com bore or maybe a kind of problem right and as you can see if we look closely we have absolutely no T-Con board, all right? No T-Con or timing control board for short. That is the board that goes directly to the panel drivers. We have the panel drivers uh, to my right, that's gonna be the left and the right one, okay? For this side of the screen and for the drive this side of the screen. First thing you wanna do is since there's no T-Con board with the actual power supply for the panel on it, we have to determine if the power supply is on the main board or sometimes it can be located on one of the driver boards. Looks like the power supply is here. All right, one of them, and it could be over here too uh, by the audio circuit. All right, so, so if that's the case, what we can do is, the first thing we can do is unplug one of these drivers boards one at a time and see if we get half of a screen. Remove this control panel. Get a better view. The little white light and also our infrared detector is on here, right there for the remote. And also the Wi Fi module is on there too, also. Okay, that is the Wi Fi module. Okay, as you can see, we do have some test points. Okay, we we'll see we have a VDD, uh, a v, v, VDD, VAA um, on here. And let me see if I can get anything on there. I have 0.5 volts here on that one. Zero there, zero, I got 1.8 volts on, I can't really read that, that last one there. But the obviously should be some voltage. And if I go to the other side, which looks like the same one, VAA and VDD. Nothing, nothing. 
and I do have 0.5 volts on the VAA. Also, negative 0.5 volts. Negative 0.5. So we're here at 1.8. Go to this side. 1.8. Zero on that one, and another negative 0.5 on VDD. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to unplug it, the power, and I am going to unplug the panel one at a time and see if I got a half a picture. Uh, because if I could do, and the power supply is not located on either of these driver boards, I can try the tape method on the side that is loading down the panel. So I'm going to plug this side first, the right side, I find I'm just going to plug it from right here. Okay. As you can see, it's going to the right driver's side. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Which I see backlights. I do not have a half picture at all. Okay. I'm going to plug this side back in very carefully and I want to unplug the other side. The left side, I'm going to plug that right there. I'm going to plug it back in. Wait till I have backlights. I'm not gonna easily, easily just lift it up and see, but I just wanna see here so you guys should know about this. This, this should at least be like 20 volts. This VAA. Oh, 15 volts, okay. So I got 15 volts. Instead of the 0.5 we were getting, the negative 0.5 that we were getting before. VDD. That looks 6.7 volts. And this one here, steady 1.8. Well, I, I, there's no need to be checking the other side because I've got that side unplugged. Won't have anything, but let's see what we got. We have a half of a pitcher. Wow. All right. That lets me know that there is something On the left side, on this left side driver board that is loading down the panel. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna have to isolate which one of those connectors are, or see if we can jump out the connectors that are actually holding down loading down the actual LCD panel for a screen. I'm gonna do some regular clear tape, okay? Something like this here. And what I'm gonna do first, let's look at the uh, connectors first. Metal contacts on the connector. All right, and as you can see, I do have it marked. Um, but <clears throat> the quick way to do this is just to take a big piece of tape like this, all right? And I'm going to do like maybe half Maybe half, I'm going to go to this side first Okay, try to cover up all the connect, all the, all the pins, those gold pins Put it back in Okay, clamp it back down very carefully And I just want to see if that voltage is going to jump up to 15 volts. I'll grab my ground meter over here. Inside one of the holes. And I'm going to actually fire this back up. All 
I have backlights. Let's go back to VAA. And now I still get 8.5 volts. So I don't need to turn the TV around because I'm gonna have a blank screen, right? Because I'm only getting the 0.5 volts. But what we're trying to do is isolate the side down to a section of this connector that has the bad circuit on it. I'm gonna go all the way over here on this side. That's about half, because I had it right here. And that's about half. And then here is about half. Yeah, that's more than half, okay? And I'm gonna try it on this side. Plug back in my power. Never do this when it's plugged in, even if the television is off, okay? Because it's probably just voltage going through those lines. Okay, I do have backlights. And let me go back to this VAA. And there it is, we have our 15 volts, okay? I can check it over here also. VAA, where we at? One of these here. It looks like this one maybe. That's 11 volts. 3.9. 1.8. VAA, 15 volts. Uh, hi, VAA. Six volts and looks like VDD 1.8 and let's see what we get. Look at that. All moats. But as you can see, I have a lie at the bottom, which I'm not too concerned about. It's a little darker shade on, uh, I believe this side, maybe you can see there's a line right here, going all the way up. Um, let me see if I can actually go to something. And you can still see that there is actually, this side is actually a different shade going right down the middle, okay? Are you going behind this house that's on the west side of the road? Make so, out. I can leave it at that, or what I can do is try to Make our tape smaller and try to isolate it even better. And maybe we'll get a better picture. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this big piece of tape off because I know that we're on this side of the panel and I'm gonna actually get a smaller piece of tape, right? So it can cover less contacts or less lines Start right there and work our way over until we find a picture that may be a little bit better without that half of side being darker than the other. But I did that already, do that one at a time, keep going over, go right there, plug it in, try it like that. But I think I've already got a spot. Make this video quick. I'm just gonna put it, I believe, right here, and I still had a contact on the left side. Let me just make sure I'm, I'm good with that. It was still open. I believe it was right there. Fifteen volts, okay. Now that's fifteen instead of eleven. All right, before we put that tape, put that tape on there. It was reading eleven. Okay, now it's back at 15, 6.7, that was like 3.9 before, okay, and 1.8. That might be a perfect spot, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, guys, that is it. Lawyer in the Philippines spent thousands on his own investigation, he said, hoping. Both sides are good. Only thing I do have is a little line, a little color line at the very bottom of the TV. But that's okay, because we have a bad panel and we jumped out the bad lines, the bad signal lines, and that's all there is to it on applying the tape method to a bad screen. Hey guys, if you already work on televisions or other electronics, and want to learn more about television repair, make sure you check out the art of troubleshooting and repairing modern televisions. This is an intense, detailed, easy to understand, online television repair course designed to show you how TVs work by covering ported circuits and sub circuits. You are not going to find anything like this online, especially in the English language. Students also have an online community they can post videos, pictures, and ask questions about TV repair. The entire course is step-by-step -step instructions covering every circuit from the power cord to the power button in that order. And that, my friends, is the art. Knowing how the television works from start to finish. All the trainings include live PowerPoint presentations showing you in detail how all the circuits work and also live hands-on trainings putting you right there in the action. This entire course is expected to be completed by mid-summer but you do have access now for a special pre-launch price and it presently includes over eight hours of intense detailed easy to understand trainings and my name is Robert I've been working on television for 30 years and I wish I would have had a course like this about 10 years ago that would have absolutely shortened my learning curve if you want to see a 15 minute demo demonstration of the course, just go to my channel, Big Dog 8882, and check out the TV repair course update and live course footage. And that has over 15 minutes of raw footage from inside the course. So, guys, what are you waiting on? Click the link below or in the video somewhere, and I will see you in the course. Big Dog out.